What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Duke's Outfitters where today we are going to be kayaking the Buffalo River in Ponca City, Arkansas. We are here setting up camp, getting all prepared for our first night before our big journey tomorrow and I just want you guys to check out this view. This is just absolutely amazing. Everything is like this. We've already stopped by the uh, Buffalo Outdoor Center to uh, schedule our kayak shuttle and our trip and everything. We're gonna leave at eight o'clock in the morning and I'll give you guys all the information for that place so you guys can schedule your own trip as well. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get our uh, campsite all set up so we are good to go for the night and I'll show you guys here in just a minute. So here's camp, here's Christian's tent, here's my tent over here. This is where we're parked. This is home for the night. And now I'm gonna go down here and hopefully show you guys some fish. Here we've got solar charger. Charging my camera gear. Here's my camera box. And that's home. Best campfire Mac there ever was. As a non dance, as a. That's. Dude, this tastes. That's a tree bark. This baby. tastes so much better than cafeteria <laughs> stuff. Throw something in the nose. Throw something in the nose. Breakfast tacos. You ready, boy? You ready? You ready? You ready? A little bit. Alright, dude. Yeah. Bro, this is intense. Right side, Trevor. Right side! Yeah, I don't know what this is. What a beautiful fish. Dude, what is this? That's a rock bass. Yeah, you're right. 
See you, buddy. So we started here at Ponca. I've been all the way through here up to Jim's Bluff. And we're coming up on some waterfalls. So Jim's Bluff looks like this. It's got some very distinct like large boulders kind of collected up here. And um, it's on a it's on a pretty decent like right hand turn that goes off here. Um, so when you see this, you know that you're coming up on the waterfalls that we're gonna show you here in just a little bit. <laughs> if you're curious on whether or not you're at Jim's Bluff, it is fairly clearly tagged on this little rock here, right at the beginning of the bluff. So that's how you know where you're at. Okay. So this is your next landmark to the waterfalls. There's a little hike that you have to go up here to, uh, to go see them. You'll come down from this little stretch here and come around this corner so it'll be on your left hand side, nailed to a tree, it's very small, and it looks like this. It's colder than the other one. <laughs> really cold. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. Okay, so clean you out there. So we just got done with the waterfalls. We've gone down like less than a mile. And you hit this point where you hit some rapids and you go down and just past it is an opportunity to see the second set of waterfalls. So here is the hike up to the second set of waterfalls. Wow, I can't wait to show you guys. Y'all can't see it on the camera. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, dude, it's a smallie. It's a smallie. Oh. Dude, they do, they fight so hard. Dude, that's a good one too. Woo, first ever smallmouth on the rooster tail. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so excited. Hey, Trevor, can you come take a picture for me? Dude, that thing was pulling. Everything Dude, it fights so hard for such a little thing. All right. Here you go.
So here we are at campsite number two, drying some of our stuff out. Christian's sleeping bag got wet. There's my home, Christian's home. Trevor's got a uh, hammock up here. We are cooking dinner. That's perfect, dude. I'll So it's a uh, morning of day three. It rained most of the night last night and I haven't gone out there to see if the water levels up or if the kayaks are even still here, but it rained all night. It was freezing cold. I'm gonna get out here real quick and go check things out. Okay, water level's not bad. It's cold, very cold this morning. But we're going to go ahead and book it home. <clears throat> I think Christian, along with myself, is a little bit homesick. Ready to uh, get home and see our families and end this trip. Baby. <laughs> 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 we don't like being cold. This is going to have to be a summer. can barely see the tops because the mist. It's foggy out here this morning. Started. All right, we just left camp and kind of beeline it back to base. I don't know if we're going to really do any fishing today or not. Um, as you can see, it is very clearly raining on us and we are very cold. So we are just kind of trying to make it back to the truck at this point. Yo! Dude, they fight. Look at that little jump. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Lost him. That's okay, it was fun. I got him all the way to the boat. That was a fun part. Found a little cave, taking a break. It's raining pretty hard out there. And we are cold, getting out the wind for a minute here. It's a pretty neat little, little cave. <laughs> Trevor's ill prepared, so he's wearing a emergency blanket skirt. <laughs> With that it is so cold. We are so ready to go home. We are coming home tonight. <laughs> it's so cold. Whew. He's never caught a largey. Another little smallie, catching some last minute fish on our trip here. We're about an hour and a half from Pruitt and uh, we are happy to be going. So here's the bridge to Pruitt Landing. If this is where you're getting off, this is what it looks like. It's gonna be just up here on the left hand side. You just gotta go around this curve a little bit and it's like, a, I don't know, a quarter mile over here. Well, for those of you who are taken out at Pruitt, here's the sign that you're looking for. And it's just past the bridge I just showed you guys. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get our kayaks out and get in the warm truck. Christian. Yes. What was your favorite part of the trip, man? The waterfall, man. Just be able to see something like that, something different, something you don't see in a regular city. Where I was born, Dallas, middle of Dallas, downtown. And you've never been Anywhere on else. anything like this, huh? This no, is no. this was all learning and new experience, and I had no choice but to learn once I got on the rapid, so <laughs> I had to learn quicker drowns. So, Trevor, what about you, man? Uh, my favorite part was probably getting drunk uh, that first night. <laughs> getting drunk the first.
first night. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again so much for joining us. We had a blast. I hope you did too. Plan your own trip for Buffalo River, Arkansas, and uh, have fun and get outdoors, guys. Thank you so much.